Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we have another exciting topic to take your business promotions to the next level. That is by sharing your business ratings on Instagram as images automatically. Guys, if you have ever wanted to showcase your amazing ratings or top rated products on Instagram, then today we have got you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step process of setting up an automation workflow to share your five star ratings from Google My Business page to Instagram as stunning images without any hazel. No more manually creating the graphics and searching for perfect five star emojis. This automation is going to do it automatically and it will improve your business and save your time as well. And guys, we can set up this simple workflow without any coding. So without any further ado, let's begin. To set up the workflow, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. You can find the link of this page in the description. And from here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So sign up right now from the given link. And after that, sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard. From here, you have to click on the create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So let me give a name here. So I have given the name here. Now I'm clicking on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action by which we can build this automation. So trigger is that event which is going to start the workflow and the action is an automated response of the trigger. In our use case, guys, getting a five star rating on Google My Business page is going to trigger the workflow. So our trigger application would be Google My Business. OK, so you have to search for Google My Business here then select it. Then you have to select the trigger event as new review. OK, and then click on connect button from here. Select add new connection, then click on sign in with Google. And from this window, you have to choose that Google account by which you have created the business page. Select that account. OK. Then you have to provide some additional access to your account. So just click on continue from here. And you can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected. OK. Now here it is asking for selecting the account name and the account location. So this is my account named as Parampara. So I'm selecting account name here and the location is also the same. Now guys, when you click on save and send test request button, the most recent review or rating that you got in on Google My Business page will be fetched here in the response section. OK, so here you can see the last review I got is by this person and he has given us five star rating. Fortunately, OK, so let's uh, click on save and send test request button. OK. All right. And here you can see, guys, we have received the ratings five the name of the person who have given us the rating and the comment uh, that means the review the person have written for us amazing pl place for ethnic wear the same is captured here amazing place for ethnic wear okay now guys uh, i want to uh, display only five star or let's say four stars and five star the good ratings only i do not want to share bad ratings like one star or some kind of bad reviews but in business there is a possibility that sometimes you can get bad reviews as well so for that to ensure that guys that we are going to uh, share the good ratings only we are going to apply a filter here which is going to filter the ratings according to the condition that the ratings we get is four or five for that guys we are going to use this action step here we have filter option select filter okay and then it will ask to select your label select the filter type and put a value here so here guys i am going to select this label uh the the star rating label that i have received here in the trigger in which i have received the ratings number okay so guys just click here and the previous step will appear here and when you click on it you will find the labels so select the star rating label all right. And after selecting the label, uh, select the filter type as equals to and in the value put here F I V E that is five. 
okay okay so this is first condition that when the star rating is equal to 5 or the star rating is equal to 4 then these are the two conditions so uh, we are going to apply an or condition as well that when the star rating is equal to 5 or the star rating equal to 4 for that we have this or condition option just click here and here you can apply an or condition and the or condition is that the star rating is uh, equal to 4 okay so for these two conditions the workflow is going to uh, continue and uh, send the data forward okay so click on save and send test request button and you can see it started showing condition is true because one of the condition is true here you can see this condition is true so it started uh, it's uh, showing condition is true okay now when this condition match true we what we want we want to create a image for this uh, rating and we are going to share that image now click here on this plus icon and to create an image we are using switchboard canvas application okay select switchboard canvas then select the action event as create image and click on connect button from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the api key of switchboard canvas you will get the key here on switchboard's account let me open the templates page this is the templates page and here on the top right corner you can see view your api key button is here click on it and choose and copy this post type key okay just click on copy on the post type key and paste the post type key here like this and then click on save and you will be connected with switchboard canvas right and then here you have to select the template which you are using to create images so guys i have already created a template image for this purpose and the name of the template image is this you can see insta ratings and this is the template i have created for sharing the images on uh, star ratings as an image on instagram okay so i am selecting insta ratings here here it is asking for the width and the height so you can get the information of these two things from switchboard only by opening your template and when you click here on the template here you will find the width and the height so you just have to fill it accordingly this is the width and i think the height is 1079 okay right select the format as png or GP, jpg whatever you want here it is uh, uh, now showing three fields the image one text one and text two so guys here you can see uh, when you see the elements we have these three variable elements here so guys this is the background image i have added and here is a text where i want to place the name of the person who have given us the star ratings and here in this text two element i am going to place the review written by the user or customer okay and i want that this background image should remain as it is so here i'm going to leave this image field blank and i'm going to map these or these two fields only okay which i want to change so here guys in the first field in the text one field i want to place the name of the person and the comment so here you just have to click and from the first step just map the display name of the reviewer and in the second field map the comment label in which we have received the review okay and here you can see the stars are already placed so i am uh, keeping the image as it is okay now click on save and send test request button and a new image will be created for you from the template here you can see guys in the response we got this uh, url here in png format and when you open this url you will see the whole new image you can see the name of the person the reviewer is here and the comment is here okay this is how we can create images now it is time to share the image so click on plus icon and from here you have to choose instagram for business here it is then select the action event as publish photo click on connect button from here select add new connection then click on connect with instagram for business all right and here it will ask you to log in if you're not logged in so just log in here 
in your Facebook account and you will be connected with Instagram okay you can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected and here it is asking to select your accounts name so my account name is this Daniels Joe okay so it is selected now it is asking for the photo URL and the caption so guys here I'm going to paste uh, I'm going to map this URL that I got here in the last step this size is zero URL label just map it here from the last step okay and then the caption just put the caption as you want so I am uh, giving the caption as a review received on Google okay I'm just typing this you can type any other caption as well okay now you can check your connection with Instagram by clicking on save and send test request button and a new test image will be created here let's see I'm clicking on save and send test request all right and this is the response we got here let's check on Instagram I am refreshing my profile and here you can see guys we got a new post here with this uh, caption review received on Google and here you can see the same image that we have created here using switchboard canvas got posted here on my Instagram automatically okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that in real time whenever you are going to get a real review five star rating or four star rating on Google my business the post will be created and will be shared on your Instagram automatically and you don't have to do it manually and I'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pavli connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel